Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. Um, this one on um, using our trigonometric function, sine, cos, tan, to find angles of triangles. So you've probably uh, been working on some, um, you know, finding uh, trig ratios. You might have even done side lengths, maybe you've done a few angles. And um, that's basically what I'm going to take you through in this video, just taking you through using those trig ratios to be able to find uh, angles of a given triangle. So if you look here, um, we have three trigonometric ratios. See, so these are all solved for the angle. So they all come from this. So like sine of angle A is equal to, I'm just going to write opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of angle A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So when you want to find that angle A that's there, you have to use a special function of your triangle that often comes from using um, second function and then pressing sine. So you'll get this thing that comes up which is called inverse sine. Some people call it sine to the negative one, whatever you need to call it. But what you should know is that when we use that along with our ratio opposite over hypotenuse, that gives you an angle of a triangle. And it's no different if you had cos or tan. It all depends on you know what sides are you given in the triangle. So the best way to probably see this is to look at an example. And I'll have one here for you. So this one asks us to find angle A, so I'm just going to label A over here. And you can see I got this side right here, 16, and this side down the side is 7. So the first thing I do when I do these questions, and you might do this mentally or you might actually write it down, is label my side. So directly across from the uh, directly across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, so that's the height. Uh, directly across from the right angle, so directly across from not the right angle, the angle that we're using, so angle A, we're finding it. That's the opposite side. And then um, this guy over here, which is touching the angle, that's usually called the adjacent. So once we have that found, we can figure out well, what sides do we have. we got the adjacent and the opposite side. So if you look back to our formulas for just one second, that leads us to have tan. So adjacent over, opposite over adjacent. So what we have is we have tan of A is equal to opposite over adjacent and then tan of A is equal to opposite is 7 adjacent is 16 and then what we need to do once we reach this step this is where we have to use our inverse trigonometric function so I'm going to rewrite this guy now as A is equal to tan negative 1 and that's of 7 over 16 so I can go ahead and put this right into my calculator so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna press second function tan and up comes tan negative 1 and I'm gonna put 7 divided by 16 make sure I use my brackets and that leaves me with the angle of A which is 23.6 degrees and you can probably round that to the nearest degree which would be 24 degrees. So um, that's a you know a pretty good example of using uh, your trigonometric uh, functions to uh, find an angle. So let's do one more. So again, we've got a triangle here, and we're going to find it in terms of angle. Actually, let's do instead of doing k, let's do n. So it gives us the other angle. We kind of did this one before. So here's n right here. So now we'll label. So directly across from N is the opposite side. And over here we have, um, that's the adjacent side that's touching. So again, we're looking at opposite and adjacent. We're given tan. So we start tan of N is equal to opposite over adjacent. And that means that um, tan of N is equal to 13 over 9 and then we can go n is equal to tan negative 1 of that ratio so as soon as you find your ratio you can rewrite it and that gives us tan negative 1 second function tan 13 divided by 9 that gives us an angle of 55.3 degrees or 55 degrees and there we go. So that's two examples with tan. Um, and using the other ones, 
absolutely no difference. You just have to look at what you have, and that's it. Maybe I'll try to find one more. So just give me a second. I'm going to pause the video and then find an example. All right, guys, I quickly found this example for you. Of course, for you, it's instantaneously. I found it. Um, so this is, uh, let's find angle B here. So angle B. And again, let's label our triangle. So we got the opposite side over here, the adjacent. And up here, we got the hypotenuse. And um, if you look, we have the opposite and adjacent. So if you go back it's just a second to these guys, so opposite or sorry, opposite and hypotenuse. This is the opposite and hypotenuse, so sine. So um, we get sine of B is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of B is equal to 20 over 29. And then we'll use our second function. So B is equal to sine negative 1. 20 over 29. And then when you do this, throw it in your calculator. Second function sine brings up sine negative 1. 20 divided by 29. And that gives us an answer of 43.6 degrees or 44 degrees. Another thing to keep in mind, I never mentioned, guys, that if you're not getting these answers when you put this in your calculator, check and see if your calculator is in degree mode. You should have a little D on top sometimes. Or if mine's a TI-83. You just press mode, make sure that degree is highlighted underneath the third little listing there. So, um, good luck, guys. Thanks for watching. I um, hope this video helps you in your uh, study of trigonometry, and uh, I'll see you guys in class. Thank you very much.